Okay, so in this video, I will talk about uh, back titration. So before I uh, before talking about the titration, uh, I would like to uh, remind you uh, what is the meaning of di uh, what is the meaning of titration. All right. So we learn titration. Okay. Um, we need to maybe we need to find out maybe we need to find out the concentration uh, of a chemical species in a sample. Okay, so we can use titration to uh, to find the endpoint and then to find the tie to find the titer, um, so that we can find the concentration of a species that is called um, direct titration. But um, we have some uh, we have some other situations that. Uh, we cannot find it directly. We can we cannot find the concentration of a chemical species directly. So we have to use back titration. Now, for example, uh, calcium carbonate is an example. Uh, calcium carbonate is insoluble in water and reacts very slowly with an acid. So we have uh, it is difficult to determine its uh uh de to determine the amount of calcium carbonate in the sample of chalk. By direct titration with acid. Um, so we have to use ti uh, we have to use use the uh, bad titration. Now, here is the steps. So I will use calcium carbonate as an example to illustrate uh, how we can do the back titration. Now, first of all, uh, we need to find out we need to weigh an example of the chemical species before uh, before the investigation. So that means, for the first step, for the first step, you need to find out the mass of chalk. Okay, now and then you add excess, uh, standard solution of an acid or alkali to the sample. Now in this case, uh, you have chalk. And then you add acid. It should be excess, excess acid to have the reaction, to do reaction. And then after the reaction, after the reaction, uh, uh, either ti uh, either titrate the excess acid or alkali directly, or make up the solution to two hundred and fifty cm cubed, and titrate the diluted solution. Now, so in this case, in this case, um, we use NaOH. We use NaOH. To titrate uh, the acid, okay. Now the acid, the acid is is left behind. Is left behind after the reaction. Now, um, actually, we add, we add the we add the acid to react with the chalk, okay. But there is some remaining acid. After the reaction, okay, because HCl is excess, so we need to find out how, uh, uh, we need to find out the mode of acid left after the reaction, so that we can find out, uh, the acid used up by the, by the chemical species, okay. Okay, so let's have a look of the example. Okay, now a student performed the following experiment to determine the percentage by mass of calcium carbonate in a sample of chalk. Um, Alright, so uh, we can see uh, we need to find out the, the percentage the percentage by mass of calcium carbonate in a sample of chalk. Um, because in, in the chalk, it is not 100% uh calcium carbonate okay uh and uh we have some impurities in the chalk okay so we have to find out the percentage by mass so we have the following steps all right the following steps is helping us to find out the percentage by mass of calcium carbonate in the in the sample of chalk okay the first step is um the chalk the chalk were dissolved in eight T cm cubed of one 
MHCl to form a solution. Okay, now step one. 2.96 gram chalk plus HCl. The information is 6, uh, 8 TCM cube, 1 M. Okay. And then second step, the solution was placed in a volumetric flask and then diluted to 200, uh, 250 cm cube with deionized water. And then the solution was labeled as. Now for step two, for step two, we have some remaining remaining HCl, and then I diluted to two hundred fifty cm cube. So that means the remaining HCl, the volume is is two hundred fifty cm cube, and then it is labeled as S. And then step three. Okay. Uh, portions of two uh portions of twenty uh twenty five uh cm cube of S were titrated with zero point one two two m sodium hydroxide solution using a suitable indicator. An average of twenty six point two five cm cube of sodium hydroxide solution was needed to reach the end point. Okay, so the HCl we add with NaOH. So the information for HCl, uh, unknown concentration, the volume is 25.00 cm cube, and then NH, 26, uh, the concentration would be 0.122 m, volume is 26.25 cm cube. Okay, now, so we have step one, step two, and step three. Okay, um, we use step three. We use step three to find out the mole of HCl left after the reaction. Okay, once we know one, once we know this one, then we know, uh, the mode of the mode of HCl used, uh, to react with, with the chalk. Okay, because we know the total, we know the total. The total would be this one. This one is the total. Okay, the total, uh, mode of HCl is, the total mole. The total number of mole of HCl would be 1.00 times 80.00 divided by 1000 equals to 0 0.08 mole. Now this is the total. This is the total. And then in step one, in step one, I used, I used some of the acid to react with the with with the chalk, and then I have some remaining. But I don't know this one. I don't know uh uh how many moles of uh, HCl used. So I need to do the step three to find out to find out the the number of moles of acid left after the reaction. Now okay, so here is the is the questions. Okay. Now, first one, A, based on the titration result, calculate the amount of acid in 25.00 cm cube of solution S. Now, for this one, um, write down the equation first, HCl plus NaOH. Now, this is for, um, actually, this one is this one. Step three, okay. Step three is a reaction between sodium hydroxide and HCl, okay. And then you write down the information. You write down the information of, of each reactant. The acid is unknown. And then um. Folium is. This one, and then. So the hydroxide is 26.25 cm cube. And then the 
the volume, uh, the concentration is 0.122m. All right. Now, so we have this information. Then we know that, uh, the mole ratio, the mole the mole ratio of HCl, uh, to NaOH is one to one. Okay. So the number of mole of HCl should equals uh should be equal to the number of mole of NaOH. So, you can write down number of mole of HCl equals to number of mole of NaOH that will be 0 0.122 times 26.25 divided by 100 uh, divided by 1000 <coughs> that would be 3.20 times 10 to the power negative 3 okay and then for question B calculate the amount of HCl left over after reaction with calcium carbonate in chalk in step one okay so we are calculating how uh, how many mo uh, uh, what uh, how many moles of HCl left over after the reaction now um, for step two step two is the is the HCl left after the reaction now we found we we, 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 we found that um, in in twenty five cm cube of the solution a uh, solution s, the number of mole is this one. This is the number of mole of HCl in twenty five point zero zero uh zero twenty five cm cube of solution s. Then, in in two hundred and fifty cm cube, um, the number of mole would uh should times ten should times ten. Okay, now because because uh, for example, if you have twenty, uh, if you have two hundred, if you have two hundred and fifty cm cube, uh, solution, then the number of mole would be, um, um, you you can let it be x, x mole, then if you take if you take twenty five out. If you take twenty five out, then, the number of mole of the solute. The number the number of mole of solute. You should divide it by ten. X divide it by ten. Okay. Now the relationship between uh this one. Okay. So for B HCL left should be three point zero two times ten to the power negative three times times ten equals to 0 0.0320 mole and then for question C calculate the amount of HCl that was added in step 1 now question 3 uh, question C is asking uh, how many moles of HCl that was added okay that would be easy 1.00 times This is the total. This is the total. This is the total. And then for question D, calculate the percentage by mass of calcium carbonate in the sample of chalk. Now this one, uh, we go back to step one. Okay, you write down the equation. Okay, now this one, we don't know the mass, but this one we know that we know that. Um, now, first of all, you under you you should understand this one first. Total HCl equals to H. Equals to H. Oh, I'm sorry. HCl used in step one plus HCl left. Now, so we have total. We have total. 
and then we have uh, HCl left then we can you we can find out HCl used in step one now because we know that this is excess so we can't use this one to calculate the mass of CaCO3 we have to find out how many moles of HCl used in step one okay so we can use answer C and answer A, uh, answer C and answer B to find out. So that would be 0 0.0800 0 0 minus 0 0.0320 equals to 0 0.0480 mole. Now this is the number of mole of HCl used. Okay, now you can see the mole ratio, the mole ratio of calcium carbonate to uh, HCl is 1 to 2 that means um, the calcium carbonate uh, that means the, the number of mole of calcium carbonate would be 0 0.0480 divided by 2 now this is the mole for calcium carbonate and then you can find the mass mass should times mass would be 0 0.0240 times its molar mass. The molar mass of calcium carbonate would be 100.1 equals to 2.40 grams. Now this is the mass of calcium carbonate in chalk. Now you see, we have 2.96 grams of uh, of the chalk, and then we just um, we just have 2.4 grams of calcium carbonate in the chalk. That means it is not 100% of calcium carbonate in the chalk. Then, percentage by mass, that would be 2.40 2 divided by 2.96 times 100 equals to 